hello to you watching this is the third update in my Billy Joel project pan and now if you're like wait Billy Joel project pan what are you, what are you talking about um you might want to watch the intro because I went through all of the albums and uh, showed you which items I was selecting based on those out albums but since it's the third update I'm gonna just jump into uh, the products what I finished up and what I'm still working on so as of last update I had had I had had, 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 I had finished um, the Urban Decay highlighter sample in Sin the color Sin um, I had finished the Makeup Forever mascara a full-size mascara and I think nope I had almost finished the John Frieda Go Blonder spray like I had said that it only had like one use left um, it did I finished it the very next day so um, yeah I don't have it with me right now so there's another thing done um, and I decluttered the white cream eyeshadow so I had I had three things done and finished a fourth that very next day and so now for this update I have one more thing done and that one more thing is the silver eyeliner um, so I will show you the progress sheet so if you look here so I had very little the first update a little bit more the second update and um, I finished it this last time um, now the reason I made so much more progress the last time versus uh, the the previous months is one I started using it as my inner corner highlight so I was drawing that like inner V pretty much every day and then I was watching sex in the city season five I think it was and uh, the Cad Carrie Bradshaw character if you don't know Sex in the City it's on Amazon Prime if you want to watch um, but anyway she was rocking some makeup where she had just like a silver line across her uh, lash line and I'm like you know what I want to rock that so for a few days I was drawing a full line from inner corner to outer corner of silver eyeliner and I actually really liked how it looked and I've been trying to do it with some of my other eyeliners but turns out all of my colored eyeliner the product is too hard and doesn't give me the same kind of line so I might be looking to buy another silver eyeliner preferably not a $12 one like the Sephora one uh, maybe one of the drugstores has something that would work. If you know of one, let me know. Um, okay, so that one's done. So, um, pause a sec, I gotta make lines. I'm back. Um, so the next thing I have on my, well, now I'll start going down the list. Um, so I have the Rimmel Lipstick number 10, which is just my red lipstick um i think i was able to wear it like twice this last month um but i did have the 28 shades in february so i haven't uh i didn't wear it at all in the month of february um but i was able to make another mark so um we're plugging away at that one um then next is the Benefit What's Up, and I was able to make able to make quite a bit of progress on that one. Um, I'm about halfway done, um, so I don't know if I'll be done in March, but I'll definitely be done uh, by the end of April. That's for certain. Um, okay, so that one next. Okay, so the Dior lipstick samples I still have three unopened and I am working my way through one now so that's what's on my lips today is um, this 136 delicate matte so 
Those will be done by the end of this month. Um, next, the Rimmel eyeliner. So this is just the, the black eyeliner um, from Rimmel. And I am making really good progress on that. Where is it? This one. So you can see that's where I'm at right now. And that's the bottom of the product. So I should be done with this one maybe this month. I could be done with it this month. Um, next. Um, okay, so the next one is the, nope, oops. So I grabbed the wrong liquid eyeliner. It's a liquid eyeliner, so I can't show you any progress anyway. Um, but it's the Hikari liquid eyeliner in the color Iris. And since my palette for this month is the Full Spectrum palette by Urban Decay, I don't think I'm going to be using a purple liquid eyeliner at all this month. Um, but next month, I think I'll be able to get good use out of it. So, but I'm not going to tell you why, because you got to watch my one month, one palette videos to find out what I'm doing the following month. So, s no spoilers. Okay, next is the Victoria's Secret uh, perfume thing. But, I mean, I'm still wearing it every day. I didn't take it traveling with me, because of course it's um, bulky, so I bring my uh, smaller ones when I travel um, but this one might go up to the wire this might be my last product that I need to use this year so I don't know um, next is the Revlon lipstick in stormy pink so that's this one um, and I guess I wore it enough because I was able to make another mark right I, right yeah, there. Very small mark, but a mark nonetheless. Um, but I guess I didn't use the lip liner enough because I wasn't able to make a new mark on the lip liner. Um, and then as I said, we finished the John, John Frieda Go Blonder Spray. Um, I'm working on another one because I, it's just something I use every almost every day I blow dry my hair, I use it. Um, and then we have... Um, the liquid lipstick uh, from Tarte in birthday suit. Um, and I was working on this, I was wearing it quite a bit in the month of January, but then of course the month of February was 28 shades and I only wore it once that month. And then this month I'm working on the Dior lipstick samples. So no progress to show on this one, but probably during the month when I use the Urban Decay Electric Palette. I'll get a lot of use out of this. Okay, but other than that, um, as a numeric recap, five done, eight to go. So we're making pretty good progress on this project pan. All right, talk to you later. Goodbye. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.